Hello there. In this video, I will pretty much show you the three common advantages and what advantages they have and what disadvantages they have. First watch we have is the little built one. Now this is the oldest material for the watch as it was introduced somewhere in the early 20th century or late 19th century. I don't know which one was, but anyway, this is the oldest. And pretty much you can find this watch at your local thrift shop pretty much and you can find them for around cheaply. The biggest advantage these watches have is that they will fit on almost any clothes you wear. Pretty much if it's a black leather you can put it on black clothes, brown leather, doesn't matter. Now does, this depends on what type of clothes you're wearing but it will fit nonetheless. Uh, the biggest disadvantage this watch have over the others is that the leather, because it's pretty much cheaply made, the leather will start to wear out. As you can see this belt has started to wear out. Also another disadvantage this watch has is that it's not water resistant, so it might get damaged. But overall if you're looking for a cheap and inexpensive watch, the leather belt one is the way to go. Now, if you're looking for a belted watch with a bit more durability in mind, the, the rubber watch is your own option. This is rubber, by the way. So the mesh with leather, but doesn't matter. Now, the rubber watch is pretty much a bit durable compared to the leather watch. As you can see, it's not wearing out and it's pretty much water resistant, so... I mean, if you can't find a rubber belt watch, you can also pretty much find them a bit bigger than the leather belt watches. Now this doesn't depend, as we'll get to this one in a moment, but pretty much that's it. That's pretty much all you're going for if you're going for a bit rubber belt watch. The biggest disadvantage these watches have is that they're skin sensitive. Now, if you have very sensitive skin, I highly recommend avoiding this, this watch because it's gonna create some skin issues with your hand if you have those. But and another disadvantage is, is sometimes they can be a little bit, little bit more pricey than the little belt watch. But overall, I highly recommend this. This is this is my pretty much preferred watch to go around with, and. And lastly, the most common watch is the metal strap ones. Now, you can find these watches with pretty much any kind of metal material you want to. You can find them in gold, you can find them in bronze, stainless steel, which is the most common one, titanium, which is the most rare one, but I'm not sure how rare it is, but pretty much it's commonly to find a metal watch. Best advantage they have is that they're pretty modern, so we can just uh, put them on any clothing and it will still feel uh, like a modern, despite the gold appearance here. Another advantage they have is that they're water resistant. Now I won't, I will not recommend putting any of these watches on the water test, but I mean, I would not recommend putting any of watch on, on the water, but if you're a diver, the special watches for divers and swimmers. Also the best advantages is that they pretty much strap on easily like this and they will pretty much stay on your hand as long as you want. Now the best advantage this watch has over the other two is durability. Now as rubber can with age can deteriorate and leather may start to also deteriorate and kind of rip. I had this leather watch rip once, rip in half to say the least, whereas this metal stainless steel watch still carries on like normal. I mean, because it's metal, it's less likely to bake compared to the other two. Now the big, biggest disadvantage is, since it's going on a strap system like this, it's pretty much a bit tougher to adjust it to your hands. As If you're buying it for the first time, or if you're buying it for somebody, or just discerning it, it's pretty much you have to know to remove one of these pieces. And you have to measure it first and buy it with special tools in mind, because it's not easy to remove it. 
Not only that, but it's pretty much a bit more expensive if you can find it. Now you can find these at any price point and in any shape or size you want. But the biggest disadvantage is having to remove these and if you're not reselling it, they'll just be there for not to not serve a purpose unless if you're putting it back on. So yeah, these are the top three watches, say the most common ones around the world. Now sure, they're one of those NATO watch. I forgot how the name was, and those wooden wooden strap watch. But those two are not common anywhere else. So which watch should you go for? I mean, it depends on what you're gonna need for it. I mean, if you're gonna tell the time, going with any of these three watches isn't gonna be a big problem. But if you're looking for something cheap and inexpensive, then the leather belt one is your best bet. If you're going for something a bit bigger, going with both of these. But if you want a belted watch that's a bit more durable compared to the leather one, I highly suggest the rubber one. If you want a bigger fashion sense and a bit durable watch, I highly suggest the metal stainless steel watch. But that should be it. I mean, going with any of these three watches is gonna be fine. So that's all I had to say. And don't forget to rate this video, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.